Hey guys, we've got uh, Oster Cruiser 6x6 Outlander 1000 up on the bench here. Um, we've got parts uh, slowly trickling in day by day. He's bringing us components, different uh, pieces uh, to install onto it. If you've been keeping track on my Instagram account and on his Facebook page, you'll see that uh, it's uh, starting to come along nicely. Um, the video here, that I, what I want to show you guys here, is kind of an Osta Cruiser approved upgrade. Uh, what we're going to do to adopt his request here, we're going to upgrade the drive shaft boot on the front, uh, the front drive shaft boot here, uh, going from the engine to the uh, front visca lock differential. Now, the reason we're doing this is we've seen a little bit of flex with this boot, uh, the boot that's in front here, the little bit of a softer boot. You can actually wiggle this shaft back and forth. It's got about a quarter inch or more. Of play to it you can see it here as I try to wiggle it with my hand um, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this boot this uh, this boot up front here with the little stiffer boot that you see behind now the reason we're doing this what actually happened is Dave on the 1000 XT and we really see this with guys like him that ride really hard really aggressive big tires he actually stripped out the play actually stripped out the splines on the drive shaft itself and on this inner cup that goes to the front visca lock differential uh, and so basically he lost his four-wheel drive uh, only had two-wheel drive and uh, brought it in thought there was maybe something else wrong and we've seen the uh, the uh, splines actually rounded off or stripped out in this area so we figured the play you know must have been the issue with it we've actually seen it on a couple models before um, and what we've done to upgrade this or improve it like I said is we've taken the boot that you see on the left here on the engine side the stiffer boot uh, we've ordered that along with the clamps and we'll uh, basically pull the drive shaft out and swap the boots really quickly now fairly easy to do all I do is uh, remove a couple bolts on the front of the engine take a pry bar um, just lightly lift the engine very delicately lift it up and, and over and I have just enough room to slip the drive shaft out, uh, swap the boots quickly, put them back on, and then same thing, just install it all again. Uh, get the Oedeker clamp pliers out uh, uh, with the new clamps here and get uh, everything put together. So now you can see with the new boot on, um, a lot stiffer. There's no movement going on here, uh, really stiff. Uh, just kind of that, that stiffer boot just holds everything in place and we don't have to worry about anything, any of these splines stripping out or anything happening when the when the guys have the Gorilla Silverbacks or the High Lifter tires or even tracks or anything like that on it. So just a quick uh, upgrade here, just a, something that uh, is really easy to do. If you have it in the shop and you want to get her done, bring her into, into Pines here. We can get you sorted out with this. Like I said, uh, it's not really an issue, a problem, or a recall or anything like that. But if you are riding hard, uh, it's definitely a very easy upgrade to get done. So again, thank you guys and stay tuned.